it's the only sport where when you say roller derby, uh, it automatically is, insinuates women's roller derby. The revival of modern flat track roller derby started in Austin, Texas in the early 2000s. It really started with this kind of like small grassroots punk rock feeling and it just constantly continued to evolve. It highlights the aggressiveness of women and the power. Um, it's not a thing where women are compared to men or women are put under men in this sport. It's a sport where the athleticism really comes first. Roller derby has always been kind of counterculture, kind of uh, on the fringes, and to this day is still like very much like a DIY feel to it um, and celebratory of pretty much anyone who wants to lace up your skates and come play. Back in the day, it was more fake and staged. People were throwing elbows and leapfrogging, and it was on a bank track. It was much more of kind of a spectacle like WWE um, or something else like that where, where the moves are more planned out and it's like stage combat-y um, and now, now it's a sport. In a game and in a situation it's two 30-minute halves broken down into two-minute jams. I would say kind of a cross between a race and a contact sport like football or rugby. The way that you play is you have two teams and uh, they're split up into blockers and jammers. And jammers can be deciphered because they wear a star on their helmet. Basically the objective is for the jammer to go around the track as many times as possible and the blockers on the other team are trying to stop her while her blockers are trying to help her while also stopping the other jammer. For every subsequent pass that they're able to make, uh, they get one point per person on the opposing team that they pass. It's getting bigger and bigger. Like currently there are, I don't even know how many leagues, like hundreds, I think, I think maybe even like thousands. There's kids as young as eight or nine um, playing roller derby, uh, contact roller derby, and I think once they come of age and age into these teams, they're just gonna push the sport to the next level. We're creating this path for girls and for women in the future to hopefully have a sport that is so women and non-binary focused that it becomes just mainstream. Mm -hmm.